Having created a sketch of the car in Sketchbook Pro, I have a pretty good idea of what I want to create. So I'm going to start by creating a cube, which is 65 high, 200 long, and 100 wide. Press the Function 6 key, and that gives me that nice view of that cube. I'm going to project the end face. So I need these edges to help me create the profile of the end of the car. And what I'm going to do is create two profiles, one looking from the rear of the car, and the other looking from the side. To start, I'm going to use a polyline. I'm also going to be using a spline. Now, the idea of projecting those edges, that gives me the midpoint. I'm going to go all the way pretty well to the end, just approximating these dimensions. I'm not going to use the spline. That allows me to create curved type shapes. These are like freehand sketches. That's my first point. Now you have to be pretty careful, but uh, we can make up for mistakes here, so don't be too concerned that it has to be exactly correct the first time around. I'm going to show you how you can edit these splines. You rarely get it exactly the way you want it first time around, but they're very easy to manipulate once you've created the sketch. Anytime I can draw a straight line, I do, so the spline's a little awkward coming around a sharp corner like that, so edit the sketch plane just like that and then a little bit of a straight line. And I'm going to finish this off with the spline, which will be the roof line. Back into the spline command. Select that plane. Always be careful you select the correct plane, otherwise that snapping to the end point won't occur. Already I've made a little bit of a mistake there, but that's okay. Just find that midpoint at the top. Very important to get that midpoint so it's exactly above the point down below. So that's not very good at the top, is it? So let's fix that. So to correct any errors or smooth the spline out, it's quite easy. You just grab onto those points, those control points, and you can already see that it's starting to look a lot better. You can just move those up. Now they can move any way you want, up, down, right, left, and you'll discover you can slide them along the spline, which also helps. So in this case, I'm bringing it down and sliding it along, which really helps the top and smooths that out. So I'm going to continue to look at that, a little bit sharp on that corner. I can't move that point to help, but I can move that one. Again, sliding it up and to the right makes that more of a tangential connection with the straight line. I also want to check the spline here, over here on the left-hand side, and I can see it's outside of the box, the cube. You want to fix all of those. Okay, so I've taken a couple of minutes, and I've gone around my spline, correcting any errors. I've also drawn a vertical line, because I want to mirror the spline from the left over to the right. It would be very difficult to create exactly the same on the other side. So select the profile, mirror, and then create a window. So I was holding down the mouse key and dragging. Mirror line, which is that second little arrow. A couple of clicks to get the selection, and then confirm that's what you want. And now we've got identical mirrored profiles. To create the second profile, it's the profile of the side of the car. Very similar workflow. I'm going to go to Project, select that face, and then select three edges. And these will be very helpful when I'm creating the sketch on the side. So I'm now ready to create that second profile.